Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm Melissa and I'm the owner of BPD Shop and I am here today to pre-plan the week of December 27th through January 2nd. Yep, that's right. We are planning the last week in my Hobonichi Cousin 2021 and I know um, I debated plan this week in this planner, plan it in the next planner, plan it in both planners. Um, I may end up doing a memory planner in my, a memory week, kind of like look back, um, over 2021 and my new 2022 cousin. However, for this plan with me, I am going to finish out my Hobonichi cousin that I purchased in 2021. And, um, I... We'll also do a flip through video, uh, po possibly the following week, um, and show you what I planned and what my weeks looked like throughout the whole planner. I did not plan every single week. There was like two months where I kind of missed some things. Um, I tested out a different planner during that time, um, but I always come back to my Hobonichi cousin. I love the paper. I love the layout. I love the size. Um, this year I used this red cover. However, for my next 2022 Hobonichi Cousin, I have a new cover that I'm going to switch to and I'm going to put this one on the shelf for a little bit. I'll probably come back to it because I love this red leather cover. Um, okay, so enough about all of that. Uh, I want to go ahead and start planning this week. Um, I pulled my goals kit from the shop, which is my New Year's kit for the cousin. It is a cousin kit. Um, and I used these date covers, which are foiled rolls go rolls rose gold from Sissy Print Co. I believe this was a sampler. She may have these in her shop. Um, but this was just a sampler, so I went ahead and used this to to lay down the date covers because I thought the rose gold would look great with this kit. Um, I also pulled the A5 Goals journaling kit from my shop. And then I created uh, some splats with this kit um, for my layout. Um, I am working at my full-time job, which is what I use this planner for this upcoming week. Um, and so... Although I am working, I think that it's going to be pretty slow and I'll have a lot of downtime to get some uh, work done f for some due dates that I have uh, upcoming in January. Um, so I don't think there will be a lot to write down this week. A lot of it is going to be kind of like busy work, um, but I did want to go ahead and plan this out and plan through my last week in this planner and I'm really excited I've already started setting out my 2022 planner um my 2022 cousin planner um and I'm really excited to start a new one um I love to use uh, to set up the front pages I don't always use them but I love to set them up so uh we're going to grab the other sheet and lay down the washi bottom washi and um, can you see me I like to use uh, I don't put it all the way at the bottom I like to use the very last row of the grid and put mine down over top of the last layer and then part of the bottom I know people plan um, differently but I this is how I like to use my bottom washi um, a lot of times I don't use these uh, 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 4 a.m. time slots. So uh, that's a lot of times that's where my uh, deck, my deco goes down here. Um, and then my workday ends at around five o'clock. So we're gonna put this down here and the one on the other side. And I don't think I'm gonna going to use my checklist um at the top like I did normally do because honestly I don't think I have enough to fill them up um with to-dos because my to-dos are going to be basically the things that take me forever <laughs> to do um and so that's going to be 
Uh, anyway, um, so for my side column here, I am going to take some of these stickers from the A5 journaling kit and I'm going to um, move some of these stickers out of the way so I turn mine sideways and I'm going to layer them up here for my column. Actually, I don't think that's straight. Let's try again. Because uh, I think I'm going to make my column all deco, which I'm just kind of excited about. So hopefully you didn't see like the top of my head when I was leaning over <laughs> to put that sticker down. Because uh, you'll see all my gray hairs, which I have all over the place. I tell my husband, he and, him and the kids are the ones that gave them to me. Um, but that's okay. I don't color my hair. I like the grays. I earned every single one of them. And uh, I'm proud to show them off in my curls. Um, so I'm going to lay down that this, this little uh, torn strips from my journaling kit and then I'm going to um, probably mostly in this area here lay down all of my full boxes um, and deco because uh, and I am, so I have, the other thing I have is I have a full box that says Happy New Year. I also made a splat that says Happy New Year. And then on my journaling kit, I also have a Happy New Year. So I am not going to use all of these in this, um, kit. However, I'm using this same kit in a couple of planners this week, which I'm also going to try to record and put those planning sessions up as well. Um, so I will have a lot, um, a lot of New Year's in my planners um, this week. So let's come down here with this, and I'm going to. I think I'm going to use. Um, I am going to use my tracker boxes. I'm going to put this down here. And come up there. And maybe I will use a little splat there. Um, okay. Uh, I am going to lay down some of these full boxes here um, and layer a little bit. I really liked the colors in this um, kit, which is why I chose to make this into a kit in the shop. Um, it's very neutrally and it's very non-traditional. Um, New Year's and I think that's what I really liked about um, I liked about this art and when I saw it I was like I have to make a kit out of this um, and so this kit is in all my formatted sizes in the shop um, and I know that it says Happy New Year but I think that you could I called the kit goals and I think that you could really use this for any week of the year um, that you're celebrating something um, or just if you just want to celebrate life which I mean you could use it for any week um, and you could layer something over top of this with maybe another script sticker um, or you know, happy birthday or whatnot. Um, so it's definitely a kit that could be used for any week of the year and not just New Year's. Um, but I am using it for my New Year's kit. All right. So I am going to, I think, use some more of this journaling kit um, here. And I think I'm going to use this. And I'm going to use, I want to use one more. 
right there. Maybe I'll just use those and maybe a splat. Maybe a little splat. All right, so I'm gonna lay down the rest of my boxes, but I am going to, let's see, I wanna, I'm gonna use this one here at this side, and kind of overlapping here. And then the 31st, I'm going to use my Cheers box. And then I will use my Happy New Year on New Year's Day, I'm going to grab this. Let's see. And put it there. And I'll put this here. Okay. And then I have one more box, which is my um, uh, fireworks ish e box. And I'm going to put that one down here. All right, so there is my layering, and I still have some room here that I can fill in some things if I need to use that space, um, but I don't think I probably will, but we'll see. Maybe I'll doodle in these areas some more fireworks, um, or I have some stamps, and I can also use those down here. Now, for this side box here, I am going to um, take a few more of these um, splats and I'm gonna I think layer up a little bit um, let's see and actually I think I will use one more happy new year um, up here at the top um, and then for this week I have since this is a um, December January week but mostly in December I'm going to just use my um, December sticker here and then I might write January or I can use a little January um, uh, sticker, but I think I'm just going to use, um, the December sticker here for this week since it's mostly December. Okay. Um, and so the other thing that I made myself are these morning routine stickers. And so I am going to lay those down because I get up fairly early and I do have to, um, work this week. And so I'm going to go ahead and use my morning routine stickers up here. And then I also made myself some evening routine stickers. So I'm really trying to keep um, track of really doing this and making it a habit. Um, and mostly this is just like my face routine and then making the bed and those types of things. Um, I like to keep on track with those. So I want to um, put this in my planner. And I did make them in my shop font. So... Um, and yes, even on Sunday, even though it may not be this early, I probably should put this down this way, <laughs> this way. And I probably should put this one a little bit later too, because uh, I don't think on the first I'm going to be up that early. Uh, we'll just leave it there because I'm going to tear the page. So morning routine there. And then I'm going to come down here and actually I don't think I'm going to put my evening routine in this planner. Um... I think I'm going to put it in a different planner, but, um, so that will be, uh, my morning routine. And then I don't have any meetings. Actually, I have one meeting this week, um, that is going to be on Wednesday at 10 a.m. So let's put that in there. And otherwise I have a pretty low key schedule, I believe. Um, and I really don't, we don't have, uh, since I have kids, we don't plan on doing anything. We usually spend New Year's Eve, um, in our house, uh, on the couch watching the ball drop. Um, we don't usually go out, 
for uh, New Year's and especially with everything that's going on now we will um, not be going out to celebrate anywhere um, so we will celebrate at home with our family and um, so this is how this is going to start the week um, I hope you enjoyed watching this video um, if you like the video please give me a thumbs up um, I'd love to uh, know if you did or not and if you're subs a subscriber thank you very much for subscribing to my channel if you're not a subscriber I would love to have you subscribe um, you will get notifications of when I post new videos um, so thank you very much for watching me plan in my 20 the last week in my 2021 Hobonichi cousin um, and this is how we're going to close out 2021 in this book and um, I hope that each of you have an amazing holiday, New Year's, be safe, um, and until next time.